originally, like when we were designing the game, it was conceptualized as just you have this ball and you have go through an obstacle course. But we thought, wouldn't it be more fun if your ball is a giant rock? And the obstacle course is not just obstacles, but the entire enemy army. Uh, but the tone, of course, is silly. It's kind of Monty Python, the sort of humor. So we knew that we wanted to introduce from a design perspective something that felt fresh. Then there comes the mix between tower defense with the boulder mechanics. But we also thought that the art style that kind of brought in Terry Gilliam's like cutout animations and everything was, was also something that would give it like its own identity. The idea that you go through different periods of art history rather than just play entirely on a medieval setting. I really wanted to add that in, like art history was one of my favorite classes and the idea of going through different art periods so we could do levels look very different it seemed very fun. So for the story, in each game we wanted it to start based on Greek mythology or some sort of myth that's related to a giant rock. And if we keep on making Rock of Ages games, we're going to run out of myths. In this case, we're starting with the Odyssey. And the first uh, chapter is when uh, Odysseus and the 100 sailors uh, are trapped inside of a Cyclops uh, cave. And in, in this cave, the Cyclops uh, blocks the exit with a giant rock. And that, of course, is our character, the, the boulder. So the first game was this crazy concept that came out of nowhere, like a little doodle we drew on a paper that eventually we transformed into to what became Rock of Ages 1. We did uh, a lot of stuff we wanted to do, but then Rock of Ages 2 was more the vision that we originally wanted to do with the game. That's why it's bigger and bolder. And this time we wanted to add like the, the main thing that we wanted to do but never had the possibility to do was a level editor where people could make their own levels uh, like it's a really big and fun feature. We're, we're trying to give the, the, the players as much freedom as they can to, to make their levels uh, as unique and different as possible. For Rock of Ages 3 we wanted you to be able to break more than ever before. That means you have more tile sets, more units to break, more boss fights and more of everything than ever before. For the players.